Times Square. Very fine films playing here. Some for 25 cents. Now, Fourth of July weekend is the perfect time to reflect on the freedoms that we owe our forefathers. The freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and of course, in Michael Bolton's case, the freedom to wear your hair any darn style you choose. VH1's four-day history of music video will continue with blocks of Bon Jovi and David Bowie as we work our way through the alphabet and hear the bees. But first, let's get back to more Mr. Bolton. As you watch, love is a wonderful thing. Keep in mind one important historical fact. Ben Franklin also wore his hair kind of long, too. It's crispy. Hi. You know, like a festive holiday picnic without the harmful ultraviolet rays, this is VH1's A to Z look at music video history. I am John Fugelsang, getting a sunburn so you don't have to. Now, while you will have to wait till Tuesday for us to get to till Tuesday, you can still catch some other great video artists later on today, including David Bowie, Boyz II Men, and Tony Braxton. Actually, you can catch artists like these anytime you tune into VH1, where you will find video classics in the 80s played alongside the future classics of today. Right now, we've got more music from John Bon Jovi and his band, Bon Jovi. Here is Existing on a Benediction, also known as Living on a Prayer. Would the Star Spangled Banner have a, a video? This is VH1's holiday weekend tribute to the alphabetical history of music video. I am John Broad, Stripes and Bright Stars with the Perilous Night Fugel Sang here at the VH1 holiday party in New York City's Times Square. We are still covering the bees, as we've been for a while, but that's only because there are so many great bee artists to behold, including Bow Wow Wow, Boy George, and Laura Branigan. But here we begin a block from the British-born David Bowie, the guy who almost managed to give Imana a last name. I mean, you can't blame the guy for trying. This is Blue Jean. It's crispy, like the kernels. You're welcome. Hi, it's a modern celebration for a 219-year-old country. The history of music video from A to Z, all this July 4th weekend only on VH1. I'm John Fugelsang, and thanks for spending your day with us. Now this hour, our video marathon has Laura Branigan and Tony Braxton and some boys on the side. Boy meets girl, boy George, and boys to men. Now back in wartime, Uncle Sam gave us the phrase, I want you. In 1982, Bow Wow Wow gave us the slightly less jingoistic, I want candy. Now, be honest, who are you going to listen to? The guy with the beard or Bow Wow Wow lead singer Annabella of the Wind? History of music video from A to Z. All this weekend through the 4th of July, exclusively on VH1. July. Now, I will continue to show you the alphabetical history of music video here on VH1, but unlike Voice the Men, I will not and cannot make love to you like you want me to. Okay, I know it's a holiday, but come on, let's try and keep this party under control, okay? I'm John Fugelsang, and if you can't make it over to the VH1 4th of July weekend party here in New York's lovely Times Square, then find yourself some complex carbohydrates and start storing up energy because our exercise and music video history will soon have you raising your hands to heaven with Breathe, taking every little step with Bobby Brown, and then breathing again with Tony Braxton. Right now, though, we have the perfect song for a warm-up stretch. This is Boys to Men on Bended Knee. One, relive the early days of music video and see what the stars of yesterday are up to today on Whatever Happened To. The VH1 Weekend Special. We can't make the weekend longer, but we can make it better. Next Saturday and Sunday, beginning at 1 on VH1. It's like Duran Duran, Lisa Lisa, and Talk Talk on VH1 this weekend, but you definitely won't see the same song twice. Not during our four-day A to Z run through music video history. Like George Washington, we cannot tell a lie. The FCC won't allow it. Now, these next three artists demonstrate the kind of musical variety that you can get today and every day on VH1. 80s powerhouse Laura Branigan, 90s favorite Tony Braxton, and one-time hit-making duo Boy Meets Girl. Their only top ten hit is up next. It's 1988's Waiting for a Star to Fall. Don't worry, kids. It's probably just some guy's bottle rocket. I'll see you later on tonight. We have music video from A to Z here on VH1. We'll continue our alphabetical rundown of videos from the past and present right through the July 4th holiday. Keep watching for all your favorites from Madonna to Jesus Jones, from Squeeze to Wham. This hour we'll be seeing more A-list artists from the B-list, including Breathe, Bronsky Beat, and Lindsey Buckingham. For right now, it's a beautiful balladeer from the Baltimore area. Here's Tony Braxton with You Mean the World to Me. Watching the history of music video from A to Z. All this weekend through the 4th of July, exclusively on VH1. 
small towns across America are honoring the birth of the nation. Here at VH1, we're celebrating with a little outdoor barbecue of our own. Uh, watermelon, anyone? We've also got uh, an A to Z countdown of video music history. I'm Amy Scott. Stick around for an old favorite from Jackson Brown, but right now we've got another musical Brown, Mr. Whitney Houston himself, Bobby Brown. Here he is with a song that definitely is not a cover of an Elvis Presley song. Don't be fooled. This is Don't Be Cruel. Music history, that is. The history of music video from A to Z. Four days of nothing but videos is going on right now. Over 800 videos from the VH1 library, new and old, good and, well, of historical interest. Broadcast in alphabetical order from ABBA to ZZ Top. You'll see big blocks by your favorite artists with no repeats. The history of music video from A to Z. All day, every day, through the 4th of July. It's downright revolutionary. You're hearing from the two Browns, Bobby and Jackson, who are, by the way, no relation, but you knew that, right? You keep the lemonade gold. We'll keep the videos coming your way all weekend long as we continue our look at music video history. You know, VH1 is the place to tune in for the past, present, and future history of music every day, not just on major holiday weekends. Take note of that, all right? Coming up next hour, we'll dive into the seas with artists like John Cafferty and Mariah Carey. But for now, it's Bobby Brown and a song that could have been a message to Britain back in 1776. Here's a We're in the midst of the video history of Mariah Carey, who certainly had her share of memorable clips throughout the years on VH1. Stick around today for more recent hits like Someday and Make It Happen, as well as the single that started all back in 1990, Vision of Love. Remember that one? Whether you're feeling patriotic or introspective or just plain hot, feel free to sit back and enjoy as Mariah Carey shares her emotions. It's no mistake that you're watching VH1 this holiday weekend, especially if you're looking for nonstop music videos to accompany your barbecued chicken. Continuing our alphabetical look at video history, I'm Amy Scott at an explosive celebration for VH1 in Times Square. Now, we may be well into day three of our 4th of July video salute, but we're not even halfway through the alphabet yet. Not to worry, though. We'll be continuing our countdown until the last firework goes off. This hour, we're going off to foreign lands, to Canada with Men Without Hats, to England with George Michael, and down under with this next group of Vegemite eaters. From 1982, here's Australia's Men at Work with a musical question. Who can it be now? Dorian, and you are all weekend long. Coming up in the next hour, we've got a video picnic featuring Night Ranger, Billy Ocean, and Martin Page. Now here's former Fleetwood Mac member Stevie Nicks with one of her several solo hits. The song features a guest appearance by the artist formerly known as Prince playing on keyboards. Here's Stevie with Stand Back. Celebrating this 4th of July by giving you the liberty to watch your favorite videos all weekend long. Remember, this is just a sampling of the great videos you can see on VH1 day in and day out. Coming up a little later, we're going to be minding our P's and Q's with videos from the police and Queen. Right now, we have a video from a band that split up in 1989. One of the bands... Hi, I'm Susan Brightbill. For the holiday weekend, we're counting down all of your favorite music videos from ABBA to ZZ Top. Stick around, because next hour, Ian O'Malley will be here bringing you a sampling of the big 80s hits from Scandal, Scritty Politty, and Rick Springfield. You just saw an eerie funk tune from Rockwell. Now, the song featured backing vocals from none other than the king of pop, Michael Jackson. We're continuing the R's now with the block of the Rolling Stones. The band that changed the face of rock and roll also changed the face of video with our next clip. Check out the animated Cool Cats in action. Here are the Rolling Stones with Harlem Shuffle. VH1 answers an age-old musical question. Whatever happened to? Hi, I'm AJ Hammer. Ever wonder what Devo has done since they whipped it good? Why have we heard no more words from Berlin? And where are the centerfold stars from the Jay Giles band? Well, VH1 has the answers as we examine whatever happened to these artists and many more. Take Gary Newman. As one of the pioneers of synthesizer pop, he drove the single Cars to number nine on the charts. 
Although he's continued making albums right through the 90s, he's traded in his wheels for wings. Newman is now a professional aerobatics pilot, and some say the finest practitioner of the reverse half Cuban in all of England. From a time when he was a bit more grounded, this is Gary Newman in 1980 with Cars. I'm Ian O'Malley with the biggest one-hit wonders of the 80s. Till Tuesday sort up the charts with Voices Carry, their one big hit from the year 1985. Their second CD, Welcome Home, is still one of my all-time faves. Now, a decade later, lead singer Amy Mann has a solo single on the Melrose Place soundtrack. We'll see that in less than five. Right now, we've got one of the earliest music videos with a kind of offbeat lighting and unworldly emotion. Gary Newman captured a cult following with his video called Cars. Not long after that, Newman left the world of electronic music to fly World War II airplanes. Pretty cool. Here he is now with Cars. Has Julian Lennon said goodbye to music? Has the voice of Till Tuesday carried into the 90s? And have the Stray Cats found a home? It's a musical lost and found. As VH1 discovers whatever happened to some of your favorite artists. I'm A.J. Hammer. Well, he may have been blinded with science in the early 80s, but since then, Thomas Dolby has stayed on the cutting edge. Dolby was one of the first recording artists to get a handle on the art of making videos, as demonstrated in this next clip, 1983's She Blinded Me With. Pat Benatar has shifted gears more than a few times in her career. Her musical style has moved from hard rock to straight ahead pop to the blues of her 1991 album True Love, but the emphasis has always been on the music. Well, almost always. Benatar told VH1 that when it came to dancing in the video for her 1985 hit Love is a Battlefield, she felt slightly out of her element. Hi, I'm AJ Hammer, and you are tuned to Whatever Happened to here on VH1. Well, call us the private investigators of music as VH1 is tracking down the artists who have vanished from the chart scene. Her own John Fugelsang is out doing a little detective work of his own in record stores around the city. Next time you're in a record store, like Secondhand Rose here in New York City, check out the Pop Music section under M, and you might find Pop Music by M. You get it? You see, writer-performer Robert Scott was the mastermind behind M, which took its name from the Paris Metro, and their one and only hit, Pop Music, with a K. It hit number four in 1979. Now, ten years later, in 89, the song was remixed and remastered as a new single, and Robert Scott re-emerged to celebrate what he called ten years of obscurity. Looks like he's going for 20. Here's M with the original pop music. Speaking of pop music, rumors that Julian Lennon would be taking his father's place with the remaining Beatles proved to be false, which was a bit of a tease for Julian's fans. After all, it has been four years since the singer-songwriter has released any new music, and over a decade since he established himself musically with his 1984 album, Volat. But take heart, Lennon is reportedly writing material with plans for a new release, and he can be seen even sooner than he can be heard. That when he makes a cameo appearance as a bartender in the upcoming Nicolas Cage movie, Leaving Las Vegas. Now from the days when he was spending more time in the spotlight, here's Julian Lennon and his top five hit, Too Late for Goodbyes. A string of hits in his native England, over 15 in fact, but his career stalled on this side of the Atlantic. The techno-pop singer-songwriter, better known to you and I as Gary Newman, would drive just one song up the U.S. charts. From the 1980 LP, The Pleasure Principle, here is Gary Newman with his number nine hit, Cars. You know, the 1970s were a decade of great turmoil and reinvention in rock music. The punk revolution, a combination of politics, music, and fashion, exploded in mid-decade and hurled itself at the bloated animal rock had become. Punk, and its immediate offspring, New Wave, shared similar traits like minimal song structure, estranged lyrics, and pure, raw energy. But New Wave had a more polished sound, which made it more palatable than punk, to both listeners and the record companies. In the next half an hour, we're going to be seeing videos from some of the most popular new wave groups from both sides of the Atlantic. One of the first new wave bands from England to break through in the United States was The Police. The band took shape in 1977 during the height of punk rock's most active period. The Police success could be attributed in part to punk's influence, as their former frontman and bass player explains. I think we, ca we captured the energy of uh, 
punk music, or the commitment of punk music. But added to that, there was a, there was a, a sophistication in the way we played and the way we wrote songs. Our ears were more musical, I think. And, and so it was a good crossover for, for us. We, we, we had this energy, this great violent energy, plus this sophistication, and I think that's what did it. You know, this is the show where we pay tribute to the bands who had one really great song that everyone went out to buy, and that's pretty much where the interest ended. From that point on, they just became a part of our pop culture lexicon. And I thank God for that, because I know I try to use the words Dur Commissar every day in my normal conversation. And without the band After the Fire, hey, I wouldn't have that opportunity. So for that, I would like to thank them. Here's After the Fire and Dirk Commissar. So basically, the qualifications to be on this show are you have to be a band that pretty much hit the singles charts and then dropped right out of sight. Now, I'm not saying these bands didn't generate a lot of quality music after this point, but what I'm saying is that the videos you are about to see pretty much fulfill their 15 minutes of fame. Now, I'm just going to sit here and sip my drink as I ponder some of the catchiest songs out there. Now, my first vote goes out to Tony Basil. You know, before she had that hit song, she was actually an actress. She appeared in movies like Five Easy Pieces and Easy Rider. She also did some choreography for David Bowie and Elvis Presley, too. But oddly enough, she'll always be remembered best for running around in this little cheerleading suit in this video. Here's Tony Basil, or Tony Basil, and Mickey. As the Blow Monkeys, remember them? Wow, maybe you remember their album. It was called Animal Magic. I'm sure that one's on your Hot 100 list, right? Now, when we come back, we're going to learn about life in a northern town, and we'll hear from a band that named themselves after their own song. Stay with us. Hey there, welcome back to VH1's One Hit Wonders. I'm Amy Scott, joined by someone who should feel right at home here on the beach in the Dominican Republic, David Chokachi from Baywatch. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Yes, this is quite a beautiful beach we got here. And, uh, you know, even though I'm here on vacation, I'm patrolling the waters, as you can see, making sure there's no victims that are going on there. Help! Help! Oh, are you okay? <laughs> I think I'm okay. I don't know. <laughs> so, David, you into the big music scene, huh? I am. I, I really enjoy music. It's kind of one of those things, like, if you think about life without music, it's like... What is life? What is life? Besides, you know, being tan on the beach. I don't know. We're doing a thing on One Hit Wonders. These are bands basically made it big one time and then pretty much dropped out of sight. Do you remember a band called Big Country? I do. In a big country, you can da-da-da. <laughs> Those aren't the words, but that's a good interpretation. All right, well, All right, let's see the real thing. Coming at you, Big Country. <laughs> You know, sometimes a band can have a hit song and go on from there, and sometimes, well, they just can't. Our next video artist is an example of actually a band that can't, but they did manage to make a little extra cash on the side. Back in 1985, remember, everybody was wearing those huge black and white t-shirts. George Michael and Wham wore them, and the song Relax while well, it was everywhere. Melanie Griffith even did a strip tease to it in Brian De Palma's movie Body Double. Well, Melanie Griffith doesn't appear in the video, but Holly Johnson does. Was it me or was there a Devin and Madonna thing going on there? That was Heart and Soul, not by Huey Lewis in the News, but by another band who never really achieved the success that single did again. We're here at the uh, after party at the Casa de Campo Tennis Golf Tournament, and uh, we're doing a little barbecue thing here. I'm Amy Scott. we got celebrities all over the place in the background. Ellen Cleghorn is over there. Gabriela Carteris. we got Jonathan Silverman, the single guy. He's here. Uh, Bill Forsyth, Chad Lowe. The celebrities are endless. And when we come back, we'll see what Billy Forsyth's favorite one hit wonder is. <laughs> Welcome back to VH1's One Hit Wonders. Hi there, I'm Amy Scott. Obviously, this is Bill Forsyth. I'm sure you all know him. Well, he used to be Al Capone. People thought you were Al Capone for a long time. Yeah, he's, he's gone now. He's gone now, and you've gone on to bigger and better things, movies. <laughs> he was in The Rock, all sorts of great stuff. And now we're here at Casa de Campo, where who is that in the background singing? Lyle Wagner. Lyle Wagner. I love his music. <laughs> yeah, he's everywhere. Man, that is so cool. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, where were you like in the early 80s? Oh, what month? <laughs> oh, he's dead. He is playing a leaf. Oh, holy moly. Remember the Vapors? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, a one-hit wonder band. Do you remember the song? <laughs> yeah, I actually do. You do? Uh, I can't. All right. 
Tracy Ellman hit it big with They Don't Care About Us. She pretty much couldn't do it again, so she went on to star on television and on the big screen where she worked with the likes of Woody Allen. But, you know, she's best known as the godmother of The Simpsons because it was on her show, The Tracy Ellman Show, that Bart Simpson first reared his ugly cartoon head. Yeah! That's right. Now, when we come back, we got a whole bunch of pretty boys for you, so stay with us. We're back here on VH1's One Hit Wonders. I'm Amy Scott down here on the beach in the Dominican Republic, and I have been wanting a fresh coconut all weekend long, so Ruben here has been kind enough. He's going to open one for me. Now, Ruben, please watch my toes, okay? Ready, set, vamanos! Hey! 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 Oh! Hey! <laughs> bueno! Bueno! Oh, yes! All right, well, this is perfect because this brings us to our next One Hit Wonder. Oh, these guys were known as the new monkeys, but you may remember them as Haircut 100. Here's Love Plus One. Vamanos! Ay! <laughs> Next up is a music video pioneer. Now, Thomas Dolby has logically moved on to writing music from everything for films to PC and CD-ROM games. His audio video production company, in fact, has put out a great video. It's called Gateway to the Mind's Eye. Check it out if you want to see what the man who was blinded by science is up to these days. In the meantime, though, we've got the video that made Thomas Dolby famous. What a great video that was, Jonathan. Love them. Love them. I want brownies. Do, 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 do. That was the sequel. That was the follow-up hit. So they're really two-hit wonders. Oh, I didn't know that, man. You I know, if they'd cookies. only. I, I want cake. <laughs> I want can. Oh, I they did. Slew. Doy. They could have had a whole album, a theme album thing going up. That was Bow Wow Wow. Did you know, by the way, that the backup singers of Bow Wow Wow, there, the backup band was? Ants. They were ants. Ants. Little, little crawly, you know, black flags. From Adam and the Ants. Adam and the Ants. Absolutely. In fact, we should have done this on the beach. What were we thinking? They, were, they were on the beach. But instead, we're here at the Casa de Campo Rap... Casa de Campo Rap Up Party. No, no. It's very important that you say it in Spanish. Casa de Campo. Ooh. Not Casa de Campo. Casa? Yeah. Casa, Casa de Campo. Casa, Casa de Campo. Casa de Campo. In a fiesta final. It's uh, muy bonita. Si, si, all si. All right, si. all right. Wrap this up. We're going to be back with more. What are we going to throw to? We're throwing a commercial, but when we come back, we'll come back, we got one of my distant cousins. Who, who's that? Well, his name's Robin Scott, but he went by the name of M. Oh, let's talk about it. Pop, Pop music. music. <laughs> Welcome back to VH1's One Hit Wonders. I'm Amy Scott, and uh, you know, I precariously placed myself next to the brownie tray, which is very convenient. I'm having a good time at this party, let me tell you. And we're going to finish up this hour musically with another One Hit Wonder band. This is a band with a one-letter name. They made it to number one on the charts, and they stayed there for one week only, which is a lot of ones in one sentence, actually. This is uh, a group called M. It's actually Robin Scott. That's how he's referred to, you know, at the dinner table. But anyway, check out the song. It's called Pop Music. You're going to remember this. 1979. Here's M. Hi. I'm John Fugelsang. This is VH1 Archives, and I'm glad you're here, because this time we've got for you Jimi Hendrix. This is history. This is why God gave you a VCR. Let me explain. This show was taped on September 9th, 1969, and it was a makeup show. See, originally, Jimmy was scheduled to appear on Dick Cavett the day after Woodstock, but Jimmy, Jimmy fell asleep. So, on this makeup show, 
Dick Cavett actually asks Jimmy about that wild, wacky, madcap version he did of the Star Spangled Banner a few weeks ago. Far out. Anyway, so be sure to watch. You may notice one thing that might be a little bit startling. You may see Jimi Hendrix seated next to none other than Marcus Welby, M.D. Don't be afraid. Nothing's wrong. Jimmy always traveled with a doctor or someone who played one on TV. You know, there, there must be something wrong with this picture. I mean, they're all pumping iron, and I'm basically sitting here like a big glob on a weight bench. But anyway, welcome back to VH1's History of Music video from A to Z. I'm Cynthia Garrett, and you got to stick around because later on at 8, 7 Central, we're going to run our Hard Rock Live concert series. They're awesome. I've seen some great bands performing live. It's the only place where you can catch them in the act. All right, a little bit later in the hour, we're going to check out Oasis. But right now, here's a woman that you definitely won't see performing in the Vatican City. This is Sinead O'Connor with Nothing Compares to You.